What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So following Apple's typical release schedule for beta releases, we are back on our bi-weekly frequency, and Apple just dropped iOS 16.2 Beta 2. So with iOS 16.2, we're getting a couple of big updates. This is supposed to come out actually around December, not November. We're anticipating another release between now and then. But if you are a registered developer, you can download this beta right now. As we went in detail with, with iOS 16.2 to begin with, there is a couple of updates here, one being live activity sports scores are back. We also should be in some point, if not in this update, in the November one, getting the emergency SOS via satellite communication in a release. We have not seen that yet in these beta builds, but the bigger option that's coming now is that Freeform app that we did a whole other video on and a lot of details in regards to that cross platforms with Mac OS, uh, iPad OS, and obviously iOS itself. So we're gonna download this update. We're gonna jump into it. We'll take a look at the build numbers. I'm not anticipating seeing too many new features here, but we're gonna go ahead and get this installed and we'll be right back. Okay, so iOS 16.2 beta two just finished downloading. Let's go ahead and jump right into the settings. Software update, you can see iOS 16.2. Let's go into about, and you can see this new version is iOS 16.2 build 20 C 5043E. And you can see it says the generic, this updates includes improvement and bug fixes for your iPhone. Uh, let's see one other thing in settings as well. As we talked about, you have that new freeform option here and it does give you a couple of detailed informations here as far as if you'd like to utilize Siri and search for this cellular data and then alignment for the actual freeform platform itself. Do you wanna activate center guides, edge guides, spacing guides? And then we have acknowledgements at the end, which is just your traditional terms. Aside from that, let's take a look in the TV app and see, okay. So in iOS 16.2 beta one, live activities didn't have the option to click into. As you can see, not only do we have allow live access toggles, but now we have that new update rate where you can make it more frequent and this will allow more updates to come in at a more frequent pace. However, it's letting you know this could be a battery drainer, just something to keep in mind. So actually, since that's updated, if we jump into the TV app as well, was there, so it's gonna let you show sports scores and all that. Let's see if under face ID and passcodes, it didn't kick us out. Okay, and live activities are still active. So again, if you're having issues with live activities, keep in mind you need to make sure under face ID and passcode that it is active here as well. So aside from that, so far so good. Everything's been pretty smooth. I'm very excited to see if this helps with our battery life or not. We have had intermission, intermittent issues with that as well. But for now, as far as setting goes, that is all that we noticed. If you guys found anything else, let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to go ahead and grab this update if you're a registered developer. Traditionally, tomorrow or later today even, they could as well release the public data. Beta. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.